Here we go. Ah, oh, no worries, Michael. I, I know I know for a fact you won't. But just in case, I know I've had issues in the past where some random people will hop in like and try to troll me. <laughs> I know some random people just hop in and try to troll and like I've had a. When I was uh, first started streaming, I don't think I ever told you about this, but I had a group. I had wait. I had way more people than I was expecting to hop in because it was like I was small. It was back in 2014. And that's why I stopped streaming for about two years. Took a two-year break. Um, yeah, that's all good, Michael. Um, but like 20 some people came in, and they just were. They just really were mean to me in here. They um came in. They started saying nasty things, hurting my feelings. They were making threats to me. They um just it was just horrible. It was a horrible experience. They they spoiled the entire ending of a, of a game that I was playing that I was really enjoying. It was going to be because I was I got Halo Five. They I think it was Halo Five. They spoil because I started out my stream actually with Halo Five beta, and things were going really well. It was a nice start to my stream, but unfortunately, right afterwards, um, yeah, people did that and. Yeah, just things didn't get better. Yeah, it, it was rough. It really had me down. It took me a while to get back from that, and two years went by. I wasn't sure if I was gonna come back, but I had a fire dragon. Kate was there always because I watched him since 2013, and he, I think, was the influence to why I came back. I'll be honest, really, he was. I, I have to credit him that much that he was the reason I came back. He, you know, he was just said some really kind things to me at that time. And I don't know if he would even remember that still, but I mean, just what a wonderful person he was. And in fact, if you aren't already, I definitely recommend, even though he is a more popular streamer, I don't know. I don't know if he, well, how interactive he would be in the chat just because. I mean, I know he's inter interactive sometimes, but I don't know with how, because as you get more popular, the problem is the chat moves much faster, so it's hard to see all the comments, but um, he is definitely a person I would check, recommend to check out. Just a really genuinely nice person. He, he is one that did not let that stuff get to his head. The popularity did not let it get to him like some other people. But yeah, highly recommend. I've been watching him since 2013, and um, I think we're up and yep, right, we're ready to go. So okay, oh, let me get my volume up, and let's start. Let's start moving forward. Let's see what we got to do. I'm not even quite sure where really. There's a. I imagine we gotta go up here probably. Yeah. That literally just scared the girl. That's all good. Definitely, yeah, but just even checking him out, yeah, he's just a wonderful person. He, um, the only reason I mention it, but well, the big reason I mention it is just how kind of a person he really was, even to me, since the beginning, he just has been a wonderful, that's why I've, I've stuck with him so long, just because of how, um, like I said, I would probably, I don't know, if it wasn't for him, I may have never come back to streaming, who knows what, what would have happened with my life, he I mean, he, he, he even took the time where he explained to me stuff. It was speedrunning Luigi's Mansion because he speedran that game in the 100% category. And, yeah, he just, yeah, he truly, yeah. Yeah, you, you gotta, the thing that you gotta do, Michael, with people like that, and I've learned that over the years now, people like that, you just gotta realize... There's going to be nasty people, unfortunately, in the world that are going to say nasty things. But you, um, the the thing about it is that you, the reason you're streaming is not for those people. The reason you stream is because of all the kind people that are around. The people that want to support you and want to be there for you. 
and that's the big reason you stream and you're gonna have unfortunately with that being said you're always gonna have you're always gonna have some people that are gonna be haters it's just how it is in the world but the big thing is just getting past that and realizing that you have people there that really care about you and want to support you because you could end up you, you I mean the big thing is that you you may not even think about it because sometimes just having a few viewers in some of your viewers that are there could look up to you as their favorite streamer on like I like I mentioned many times on Twitch and um and that that's just incredible to me that's why I love streaming that's why I do it and that's why I've been doing it for so many years now even though I'm not uh, for many years have not been super consistent and haven't always had the best all of all stream setups but I should be getting a much better one here coming soon so that's gonna be awesome I'm very excited about that but I'm gonna move forward uh, Beth if you're reading this then I'm toast I hope it wasn't those scar fuckers but some blaze of glory bigger hope is you remember where he hit the stash Ooh, he she gives me the code seventy twelve sixty four. Remember that code. It's not much, but it's all I have. I want you to take a be well, Randall. So where on the wor in the world is that ch uh, is that um safe now? <laughs> because I'm gonna need that. Mm, journal entry added. Cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm so glad to be part. I'm so excited to be part of your community as well, Michael. Even though I don't always talk in your Discord a lot, I'm, and I'm sorry about that. It's just that it's just because I'm a bit shy, and a lot of times I don't really know what to say past saying hello. I, I mean, sometimes I try to hop in a conversation with someone else, start something out, maybe try to hop in and say something, but I'm just unfortunately I hate to say, it, but I just a lot of times just don't even know what to say. I try, at least I try to be there though, like I, I definitely do stop by and I check what, you, like, what the conversations are pretty, pretty often, as, as often as I can at least. But yeah. Ah, my stream, uh... My internet, that is my internet doing that. Yeah, it's very nice. I'm very glad I, that I am able to be there. And now, um, whenever you do go, um, like I said, whenever you do decide to go live, don't 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 pressure it. I mean, whenever you when you feel it's the right time, just let me know, and I'll be like I said, I'll be there now, especially this month because this entire month I will not be working, so I have more time. So, whenever you feel it's right, yeah, just let me know, and I will. Um, I I'll be there to support. Before I go back to college, especially once I go back to college, things will be a little tricky for a while. I'll definitely try to hop in, but it'll probably be a night D during the day. I do. I'll be doing a lot of schoolwork. Yeah, during the um, during the school year, though, that that's when things get rough, and that starts in September. But in August, I in August I should be good. Oh, hey, we can unlock that door now. And yes, yay to the finding this this um right here. This is awesome. Um, what was the code though? That's the only thing. Ah, me and my forgetful memory. Let's check that. Seventy. Let's see. Seventy twelve sixty four. Okay, seventy twelve sixty four. Seventy twelve sixty four. Let's do that quick. Seventy. 
12, 64. Voila, we got it. Nice little stash we got. Let's get everything. Oh wow, did I just grab everything? I literally just hit the button once. That must have been an upgrade for looting stuff. Now you just loot everything with one press of the button? Really? That's insane. Something needs to be done to turn this power back on or something. I'd be lying if, if I was saying I'm not confused here right now. This is definitely got me confused because it's not like we can get through. Well, I guess we can use this. But how is this going to do us any good without the... Um, never mind, I guess it will stay in place. Well, I was expecting that was going to fall down. Well, that's all good. We can just go forward. I mean, something bad is gonna happen. I know it, but um, yeah. I'm sticking with the boat controls. I know. There we go, we got it. That's some eerie music that was just playing. That is never good when you hear music like that. Ooh, a bloater. Oh boy. If any wolves read this, warn Isaac and others. The rumors are true. There's a new infected out there. Looks like something made it halfway to a bloater and took a turn. An ugly motherfucker. Maybe all the rain around there here caused a mutation. No idea. It was slow, so I put it down easy. But when I went to check it out, all these postules on it exploded. Whole right side of my body is burned. Some kind of acid. If you see one of these things shambling towards you, stay back. Those are shamblers. Yep. Shamblers are nasty creatures. We have dealt, dealt with them a couple times. And I'm hoping to stay away from them for a good while. Oh yeah, this is really good. Well, what is, so now what is underneath here? Oh, nothing, okay. Looks like a place I could crawl under. Hmm. Well, let's start up the boat. Let's go. 
reminds me of like God of War. You're able to ride a boat. Okay, cool. I know, I know. Especially if you hear the whistling. The whistling is going to be the bad part. That's the part to be most concerned about. Because if you, I don't know if you saw it yesterday, if you were here yesterday, things got horrible when the whistling occurs. That means that they are close by. Those people are nasty individuals. They were hanging people <laughs> earlier. Yeah, bad things are coming. If they, um. Oh boy. What the? Wait a moment. What am I supposed to do with that? I'm confused. Apparently, there's a way into the cart next door, but I just do not know how to get there. That apparently is not right. Hmm. I know the whistling is bad. That means the um, what's their names are here. That's the only thing that could mean. I forget their name. Um, they're a group of yeah nasty people that shoot these arrows at you that try to kill you. The arrows, these bow and arrows. We're gonna run into them because I hear the whistling already, so I know we're gonna. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get that. I don't really know how to do that right now, but. Get over here. We might be able to make.
Oh geez, he's coming this way. I can somehow lure him. try to kill me no matter what. So... Yeah, there's no way you're not gonna... Right. 
Okay, sounds good, Michael. But thanks so much for being here. Yeah, I know this game can get very intense and sometimes graphic. <laughs> but I do love The Last of Us. There's just something about it that um, it gives you just such a just just such feelings towards these characters in a way that I can't quite explain it. But thanks so much for being um, being here. Yep. Mm -hmm. And have a good night. to figure out how to get this one. Right, I'm going to go back and check and see if I'm missing something. Possibly. Yeah, it's weird, because I really would have thought it would have involved me getting onto the rooftop, somehow. Hey Koopa Kid, how are you doing? Thanks, thanks for dropping in. That's good. I'm doing well as I'm doing well also. Just trying to figure out how to do this part. I'm not a hundred percent sure. It's in there. I just figured it out. Yeah, thanks so much for dropping in. Right, uh, yeah, I'm Koopa Kid. It's really nice having you here. Yeah, I miss having you here as well. There we go. Now, now I can make this. Okay, now I understand. Cool. This is uh, this is gonna be good. Um, I'm not sure on how to swing though.
Oh, uh, there we go. Now it makes sense. How did I not know that? Because that's the same way you do it in in Tomb Raider as well. Cool. Yeah. It's good to be over here. Let's unlock that door. There'll be some goodies in here, hidden in here. Yeah, I'm glad that you were able to make it though, Koopa Kid. Um Yeah, because um we're going through the last source two right now. If you wanna get caught up with the series, it's all going up on YouTube, so um, well, let's read this letter. Misha, got word that you're replacing me. Wanted to give you a few pointers about this nest. The scars are sneaky bastards. Don't just watch the streets. Check the rooftops. They got their own sharpshooters. Keep the infected alive. When the scars cross, they have to deal with them. Once they reveal their positions, take them out. Took out a pair of cultists and am now watching the infected devour their bodies. It's fucking glorious. And remember, don't get cornered. May your survival be long and your death be swift. Back. Whew. Well, this will be interesting. Oh, yeah, I don't even want to think of that group. That group's going to be quite nasty. Get back to my boat. My boat's over here. That's what I had to do. And use the boat to get through. Yep. I had a feeling that was what I had to do. A Molotov. That would be helpful. I guess there's two Molotovs. That might be all we can get here. Okay.
Upstairs now. Wonderful. Nothing good's gonna come from upstairs. Gonna, it'll be a good upgrade for my bow. Hey, bookmark! It's really good seeing you. Thanks for stopping in. How uh, how was your stream the other night? I don't know if I um, I didn't quite get to stay for the whole thing. I think I went to bed before it ended. But how did yeah? How did it go? Also, if anybody is not already, definitely check out Bookmark. Excellent streamer. There you go. Yep. Definitely. Does art, Sonic games. I also saw her doing the um. Oh, um, one moment. <laughs> we just happened to land down next to a shambler, and we are bad. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, this is 
really bad. We, we not a, that is not a shambler. My bad. This is actually worse than a shambler. Oh boy, uh, my face is gone. This is a this is a sham worse than a shambler. This is a bloater. There's no doubt that was a bloater. <laughs> They, they never do. They never do want to go down. Bloaters are a real pain. Always have been. But that's why we equip. We get so much equipment for them. <laughs> oh man, that caught me off guard. But anyways, definitely check out Bookmark. She's an excellent streamer. And um, where were we before? I forget where we were even at. <laughs> Before that happened and I got rudely interrupted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that bloater rudely interrupted me in the mid in middle of my sense. Oh, I was also trying to tell you, Bookmark, that I celebrated my 24th birthday to, um, tonight. We, um, my mom made me chocolate cake and um, I got Ghost of Tsushima. So that was really exciting. That will be a game I'm going to look to stream in the future. So... But that'll be a ways down the road because we have this and then the Halo series coming up, so we'll have a good good amount coming up. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'll be doing a birthday stream at some point tomorrow. So that'll be that will be good. It's really good it's really good seeing you here. So. Oh, what I was asking is how your stream went <laughs> last time because I remember I stopped in and um, I think you, if I remember right, you were playing um, uh, what was it called? Um, you were playing Dynasty Warriors, Dynasty Warriors Eight, I think it was or something like that. Yeah, it was it was fun. I was watching you for a little bit, but then I I had to go to bed. I was just too tired. But that yeah, was it was um it was fun watching. Oh, well, base or another card? Cool. Let's check and see. Kazal bright trading card. Kazal bright. Kazal bright home planet Titan. Reigns 100, Ron 40, Affiliation Spark. Orphan by the Civil War on Titan, young Kazak Bright vowed revenge on the future alliance whom he held responsible for initiating the conflict. Growing up to become a renowned communication engineer for Spark Century 22, he developed quantum signaling technology that allowed for instant communication across vast distances. Though it gave Spark an advantage, they still suffered defeat after defeat against the Future Alliance, boosting his quantum communicator to reach far beyond our star system. Kazak now tries to contact someone or something capable of helping him seek his revenge. He's a neutral villain. Okay. <sighs> Q 
Cool. Well, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I definitely liked it. The bit I watched, it was it was definitely looked like a fun game. So. I also really like when you do when you go through Sonic. The Sonic games are fun to watch as well. I never even knew. Um, I think you were going through Generations or something like that. Yeah, I never even knew. Kingdom Hearts. Ooh, that's an excellent choice. Bookmark. If you go Kingdom Hearts, yeah, definitely, definitely. I'll, I'll definitely try to give me, uh, stop it if I can. Cause Kingdom Hearts. Ooh, that is so much fun. I love the Kingdom Hearts series. I cannot recommend that series enough. Have you played them already? If so, yeah. Yeah, but they are just such great games. In fact, I'd say one of my favorite series of all time, without a doubt. Yeah, yay is correct if, um, yeah, if Pokemon goes through the Kingdom Hearts, yeah, that is definitely a very exciting series. Yeah, yeah, the Kingdom Hearts series is just an excellent series. Can't, and cannot recommend it enough, so. yeah, definitely. You played one and two though, yeah. Those are really good ones, but I highly recommend playing them all because the story just comes together so much better and they're, they are great. Do you have a PS3? Oh, and you said no, and you don't have a capture card, did you say? Ah, well in that case, then no. If you don't have a capture card, then yeah. But, that, that yeah, that's unfortunately going to be rough. But if you had a PS3, they did make 1.5 and 2.5 on there, but, yeah. Without a capture card, that w would be rough, and, um, I would not recommend, definitely would not recommend, at this point, I just would not recommend the PS4. I'm, I, I hate to say it, but, I mean, it's $250, and I feel like the PS5 will be here at the end of the year. That'll be 500 yes, that is a bit more, but I, I would just recommend go for... If you're gonna pay half the price already just for a PS4, I would say just go PS5 because PS5 is gonna play everything before it. Pretty universe, huh? Oh, oh, okay. Is this where we can we climb up on one of these? No, where, where are we meant to, where are we meant to get up to? Oh, right here? Oh, right here, okay, I didn't even see this walk, what? Okay, because I was going to say the floor gave out, I know that, we needed to get back up here. No doubt about that, but, um, how I was not sure. And now I know how we are going to get up here. I don't think there's any reason to go back this way, but this might go back out over this way. Yeah, no, I would just, I would really just recommend go towards the uh, PS5. That's my. Because, yeah, the PS5 is going to be back to compatible with PS4 already. And, um, the, and it's going to also give you opportunities, I think, to buy digitally PS1 through PS3 games. So it'll give you, basically, whatever games you enjoy growing up with the other PlayStations, you can play right on there. So it's like, 
yeah, I mean, I just feel I feel like it's going to be a very expansive system. And for like five hundred dollars, you can just do all that and have it in better quality, and get all the new games when they come out. Yeah, I would just say I would not pay the half price at this point for a PS4 because it just feels like at this point you're so late in the system life that pretty soon here they're going to stop developing for the PS4 anyways. So it's kind of like you're going to get a system that, yeah, the system will be able to play a lot of games. But if you go just a little bit further and you get the PS5, you'll be able to play all the new games for like the next 10 years. <laughs> like the next 10 years including all the games from before so it's kind of like yeah yeah no definitely and that's the way I'm looking to go is the PS5 as well I'll probably do that towards um, when it releases to get that as well Almost there. but that's a ways away that's definitely a ways away getting to where we've been going has been really intense I have to say Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and it, and it also the thing about it, the good thing about it is it's not coming out right away. It's got a little time before it's going to come out anyways. So it'll give that extra time to save up potentially some extra some extra for it even. Potentially. That's my thought is that it will allow some extra time with it. Because it's, it's not going to be till the end of the year anyways, so... But things are about to get extraordinarily uh, brutal, I think, here. So get ready. Things are going to be very intense. See if Ellie can get her vengeance that she has been awaiting for quite some time on this abbey. I sure hope so. Because after what Abby did, yeah, it's about time she gets some revenge on this. Do you guys, or do you remember Joel Bookmark? I don't know if you've watched The um, Last of Us or seen much of The Last of Us, but Joel, if you know what I'm referencing to earlier in the game. Okay. Where are you? Yeah, I know. Because um, if you saw earlier, she killed Joel. She killed him. Hit him with uh, over the head with it. Well, hit him with a golf club and killed him. And it is, it's, it's about time. It's time for her to get her pensions because all she's had to go through to get here. It's been really intense. I hope not to run into the scars anymore with a little bit of luck. Because the scars are nasty. Gosh, how many, how many doors can they lock? She definitely doesn't want people in here. I know, I know, it was like right there, oh my gosh, yeah, you remember it. It was rough, and it was like in the first two hours of the game, too, which really was rough. I do agree that was very rough, but I, I don't hate the game for it. I understand that it was what it was, 
I definitely don't hate the game. I think the game is amazing. In fact, it's definitely one of my favorite games of this year. I would say that The Last of Us Part Two. I think I like it better, honestly, than even the first game. Which that's saying something, because the first game was a really good game, but this this one just is amazing. It's done everything the first one did right, but improved upon it. And that's something I think Naughty Dog has just done through, as, a, as, a, as a gaming company. They just do that all the time. They improve their games. Yeah, I know. It does. But I think that was intended. I mean, in a way they did it, I can't be really mad that they did it because I understand. It, it follows the story very well in my eyes. We're in the aquarium. We all know we're not here alone. Abby is hiding here somewhere. And um, things are going to get ugly. They're not going to be good. Yeah, I know. Oh, where am I? Um, where am I going here? I maybe I'm going here. Is it possible? No. Where am I going then? Because I know I'm in here. Maybe this way? Right here. That's all good, yeah. It's good to see. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts, definitely, yeah. I cannot, I cannot agree enough with whenever, whenever Kingdom Hearts gets brought up. I cannot agree enough with that, with playing it. Yeah, definitely. That's like a must play. If you ever get a chance to stream it, definitely highly recommend it. I know that you don't have a way of doing it now, but I mean, in the future, do you have a? Well, it depends. Do you have a reasonable PC right now? Actually, do you have a reasonable PC right now, Bookmark? Because didn't d isn't Xbox Game Pass on um, PC? Because if if once the Game Pass gets put on PC, the Kingdom Hearts games are all part of the Game Pass, so you'll be able to play them on PC. hard to believe that it'll be on PC, the Kingdom Hearts games, but I, I foresee that that's coming soon. It's on everything else at this point, so it's like, why not? Yeah. Yeah, if you have game, if you get Game Pass, I think Game Pass co it does cost, it's a monthly f subscription, it's like $15 a month maybe, or maybe it's cheaper, I don't remember. But with the subscription, yeah, you would be able to get a bunch of Xbox games, and with Kingdom Hearts being on there, yeah, because they have the 1.5, 2.5, and 3 all included with it. As long as you, as long as you continue to pay the monthly fee, you have the games, but, but yeah.
Abby is definitely here somewhere, without a doubt. The only thing is I just don't know where. Ooh, some more goodies. Can't agree more with Ellie on that one. How am I supposed to? Because I know it's one of those things where. Yeah, there's got to be another way, but I just don't... Oh, right here. I was not seeing it before. There it is. There's the other way. Hey, at least it controls better in the ventilation system than um, Final Fantasy VII Remake. That game, the ventilation system was horrendous. Control-wise. Better shape that to get my flashlight back. It's a great game, don't get me wrong. Final Fantasy VII Remake is great. dog was there, that means there's more WLF here. He would be with the rest of the WLF members. Something. And I don't understand why he's all by himself. He should have been with a WLF member. Definitely. Nasty things. You can never have enough of these. I kind of hope I'm not going the right way by accident. So hard to tell though. There's the jerk. Hands up. Where's Abby? You're that girl from Jax? Tell me where she went. Abby, will you give us? I'll give her what she wants. I'm dead. You guys can't survive this. I just need her. Bullshit. Fucking 
Mal is time to get Mal. Come on. Get that knife away from me. Yeah. <laughs> Knew that was coming. They're dead. Yeah. There ain't nothing you can do to bring them back. Can't be a better sight than that. Oh, I did not expect to see him here. Yeah, so that means we missed out on a lot. Yeah, no, I had a feeling Tommy was okay. I mean, he's he's a strong little guy. We've been chasing him throughout this entire game, so I I, I knew it, but we just missed up a good amount of stuff that was hidden back there. But oh well, it is what it is. <laughs> Unfortunately, on one playthrough, you're just never going to get everything. Because there's no way of knowing which way is the right way and the wrong way. You always want to go the wrong way, but <laughs> it's hard to tell. But that's fine. We will progress the story. We will miss out on uh, those two other pathways we could have gone. But... <laughs> Yeah, in this day and age in gaming, I've learned one thing. In one playthrough, you're just not going to cover everything. <laughs> and, in, and really, almost in any game. <laughs> let alone. And I really hope Dina ends up okay out of this. She's pregnant, and I really hope she doesn't die. It's been enough sadness. But those, those people, they had that coming. Hey! How are you doing, Ghost Soldier 407? Thanks for dropping in. If you feel like it, um, I'll leave you my Discord to join. If you, yeah, if you want to, and um, oh, that's good to hear. That's really good to hear. Here's my Discord if you want to check it out. Um, that's where I mostly will mention when I go live and other stuff about stream. There's also a straw poll going on on there for um, my next game after this game. So, but yeah. Thanks so much for stopping the stream. It's good, good seeing you. Hey, Bleep Boy. How are you doing? It's good seeing you, Bleep Boy. Oh, we're back here. Oh, you just missed probably one of the most intense moments in the game, honestly. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. You missed Mel getting killed. But, yeah, that was pretty crazy, I have to say. Oh, and you missed us getting uh, catching up and seeing Tommy again. Yeah, I think... Well, on phone... Do you have any other devices? What are you guys doing on? Yeah, I know, I know. Um, you might be able to do it. You might be able to do it on um. You might be able to do it on uh, PS4. I'm just not 100 percent sure. But yeah, um, you can definitely try. If it doesn't work, if you have anything else, like I don't know if you have a tablet or any. Yeah, okay, okay. Well, yeah. Um, yeah, cause I mean I can't think of any other way, but. Unfortunately, yeah, because like if you had computer, I know computer does. If you do, you have an Xbox or a PS4? Yeah, I have a PS4. Okay. 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 Yeah, I
I know for sure Xbox has Discord on it. I think, I think Xbox does. I don't know about PS4 though. Well, PS4 can access the internet, so it's possible. It's definitely possible you might be able to do it on your PS4 due to like being able to go right on the internet with it. But yeah, if you want to, um, you could also add me on PS4, and when I do, um, um, when I do online stuff, this is my online stuff. If you want to also add me there. Um, that's my PS4, my Xbox, my Steam account is also that, and my Switch friend code, so. I'm pretty well good any day, really, honestly, Bleep Boy, for that. I mean, whatever works best, honestly. I, um, have more time, so. Whatever works best, Bleep Boy. I'm down to do some Fortnite coaching, yeah. That would be fun. What do you play on, uh, PS4, by the way, um. Because, yeah, we can maybe do some multiplayer together in groups. Yeah, Ghost Soldier, yeah. Yeah, what, Yeah, if you, um, I don't know, do you do multiplayer Ghost Soldier? Yeah, if you do, um, yeah, just let me know what, what you, um, what you play. Um, well, currently I'm doing some Last of Us 2, and it's getting pretty close to my, where I'm going to go to sleep, so, I mean, I'm going to do this for a little while longer, but, I mean, I think I'm going to stick with this for the night, but, cool, sounds good, I'll definitely check that out, yep, thank you very much, Ghost Soldier, I will, I'll add you, they got She gets to live. Yeah, but Fortnite, um, I think it's cross-play with any system, so it doesn't matter. Like, if I'm on Xbox, I should be able to play with you on PC. Oh, also, Bleat Boy, do you play the new Call of Duty? Call of Duty Modern Warfare? Because that's a fun one. I will re-download it on PS4 if you, um, play that. I'll, or at least I'll try to, maybe. section town come across this necklace it's sparkling a lot I think it's real gold you think it's gold it's real gold <laughs> let's see I know what gold <laughs> is like if it's legit can we say it's from all of us ha find your own damn lives <laughs> for the fault yeah yeah, that's definitely the best way to go. No doubt, PS Plus for the whole year, yeah. Definitely. What are they giving right now? Oh, they're giving Modern Warfare 2 remastered for free. That's right. That's what they're giving for free right now. Modern Warfare 2 remastered. Uh, st only the story, though. No, no multiplayer. But still, that's a really good offering. If you're into the Call of Duties, definitely worth it. Yeah, oh geez, what just happened? Jesse, stand oh. up! Hands in the air, I shoot this one too! Don't you do it, Ellie! Get out of here! Stand up! Now! Don't you fucking dare! Shut the fuck up! Alright, stop! Stop! Toss your weapon. He did what he did to save me. There is no cure because of me. I am the one that you want. Just let him go. You found my friends. We let you both live. And you wasted it.
Oh, and multiplayer. Okay, cool. Oh, also I uh, put up my content on YouTube as well. Oh, we're about to see some more on Abby. Right? That's where they leave you. Oh boy. <laughs> but four years earlier. Well, it'll be interesting to see what happens once we get back there. <laughs> Love that very suspenseful. But I'm glad that they're building upon the story of Abby a little bit more, so this is this is definitely not a bad thing. It's important to know not only the good people but the bad people as well. It's important it's really great when they build up stories for so you understand really why they're doing what they are doing. Because there's always a reason behind it. So I'm glad to see that they um they're building upon this more. Where am I supposed to be going? Let's see. Oh, I can't use the sense. Ugh, only Ellie. Can. But I definitely have not. I don't think. Well, maybe I have. This is literally just going in circles. Is this not? I feel like I'm going around in circles. <laughs> this is kind of confusing. Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe it's not. Because I definitely did not see that before. This is new. Dad. We are going in circles. Never mind. <laughs> Well, and that's the thing about it that really bothers me. Like, people hate it on this game so much, but I've been playing it, and... Okay, I understand. People are mad about the beginning. The way Joel dies in the beginning. I understand it was two hours in. I feel like they didn't... Personally, I feel like they did it okay. I didn't think it was that bad. And in all honesty, the game itself has been great. The, con the combat, the story is not bad. The overall gameplay is just oh, and then the the graphics graphically this is this is a PS5 game really running on the PS4. I'll be honest, from everything I've seen, the only thing I can say what I've taken from it is that just like Final Fantasy VII Remake with this game is that every once in a while it takes a while for it to load in face like the faces and things like that. So it doesn't look great. It takes a while. It has to lag its way in and it cuts off a bit. But that's due to the PS. That's not. It's not poor game design. That's more. Um. Ah, that's yeah. I was really glad to be able to see your stream. Yeah, and I got to see a good amount of it. Ah, nice, cool. Boy. What I was trying to say though before, um, is that um. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Honestly, some people look at me like, oh, it's crazy. But I, I feel personally that I, I think I like Last of Us 2 better than Last of Us Part 1. Even though, don't get me wrong, Last of Us Part 1, this is not saying that it's a bad game. It's a phenomenal game. I just feel like Naughty Dog has a way of making their games even better as they go further. As they just, as they progress further, they just do a, they just do a really good job in the combat system and the yeah, just everything about it just is really good. I cannot say anything bad. I've enjoyed every moment of this game. Yeah, I was really sad losing Joel. It was. But I faced it and I realized it is it is what it is. Yeah, I agree. But I understand. I mean, when you get... When, when someone comes up to you with a shotgun and blows your leg off... They're not going to, you're not going to go down fighting, you're going to die. I mean, there's nothing more to it. There was just, there, there's nothing, like, if he, if he was able to fight back after that, it would have been so unrealistic that it would have taken away from the, um, the moment, unfortunately. It's just, it was a really hard moment, but I, I understand why it happened. 
I'll put it that way. I understand why it happened. And then, and Joel kind of did some stuff as well. He's not completely innocent out of it. Glowing lights welcome you on a beautiful nighttime journey through an illuminated forest, a tunnel of stars, and dozens of dazzling light displays as you visit our animal friends during the holiday season. And yes, the reindeer are back. Book your tickets now. December 14th, 2013, January 1st, 2014. Buy one. Get one fifty percent off, and what I when I say, what I say about that is more or less, Joel. Um, that I understand he didn't want Nelly to die, but what he did there at the end of the first game is quite a questionable decision that he made. I he there was an opportunity possibly, and I'm not sure that it would have for sure done it, but there's a possibility that that could have saved a lot of people, and been a scenario where maybe one person dies and a lot of people could have survived because of it. And so that's why Abby's so mad is because of what he did eliminated the fireflies. Essentially. He killed the fireflies. So. There's really no good way of looking at it. It's, it's, it's just a rough scenario in general. But, yeah, no, I think, I do really think this game is really good. I have actually not played that game um, much. No, that's a game I want to play more. Maybe in the future, I'll, if that's a game, um, I have a, by the way, on my Discord, um, yeah, I don't know if if you have a way of pulling it up or if you have any way of ever in the future pulling it up. I have a section on there, a channel on my Discord where I'm looking for people to post a game that they're looking to see in the future. So if you let me know uh, a game, I could always maybe put it in there for you. So as well, <laughs> just because I I know you can't, you you are not sure if you're able to access it, but but yeah. Um, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll I'll look into it further to see if maybe PS4 could support Discord somehow. Because I don't understand why PS4 wouldn't support it. I feel like it should. Hmm. Yeah. But yeah, definitely. The Walking Dead could be a fun one. I might put that. Maybe I'll put that in as a straw poll game. As an option for the straw poll. Oh. And you can't, um, oh, so I just thought of something, um, oh, here, can I, can I, um, yeah, I can, oh, I know what I can do, here, if you want to, if you want to participate in the straw poll, because you can't, um, you, you were not able to pull up in Discord, I can, um, just, here, I can just go to my, um, straw poll, and I could just post a link in the, um, I was just thinking, that I can just post a link. Yeah, why didn't I think of that earlier? Yeah, I'll just post a link to chat for anybody that can't get on Discord. Copy. There you go. There you guys go. Yeah, to anybody that's not able to get on Discord, yeah, there's the straw poll if you guys wanna. That um will allow you to vote for whatever you wanna see as to my next game. Right now, Halo is currently in the lead by a bit, but um, but yeah, there you guys go. But for me, I think it'd be Ellie personally, but that doesn't mean I don't know much about Clementine, so. I really don't, yeah, I don't really know. Ellie, though, is really strong, really tough and strong, I have to say, for, for a character. So it could be, it could be interesting, but. Sweetheart. 
So you. Where? Right there. Ha. Huh. You know, every time you run off like this, they give me shit. Come on. Believe it or not, they actually care about your safety. These woods are safe. Death. Apps. She's been hanging out. Right on the other side of those trees. And? She's doing any day now. We'll just check on her and then, and then we'll head back. I promise. Let's just make it quick. See? I've got my little girl to keep me safe. I'm putting this full playthrough up on uh, YouTube as well, so for anybody that wants to check it out. Interesting seeing this between Abby and her father. Oh, an interest. Just, said, just, no, something no, happens to her father, I imagine. So I just feel something bad probably happens to him. How long have you known? Your dad. I see things. Like the way you both try really, really hard not to look at each other. I can't handle this. And he makes you laugh. <laughs> Tomorrow is my birthday, so I'll be doing a birthday stream. It's my 24th birthday. That will be pretty exciting. And uh, thanks so much to everybody that has. Um, po I saw I saw some of the posts um, when I was looking on um, the Discord. Um, thanks so much for the uh, bir the birthday else? post. Not yet. Keep looking. Ooh. Dad, I found something. Should be gave birth. Look, two sets of tracks. Dad? It's her. Let's go. That doesn't sound good. No, she's okay. Something nasty. Infected? Oh, something bad happens with the infected of it. I know, and that's what I feel like this game has really done. And like a lot of people want to hate on it for that one part, but they don't want to look further into it. And there's a lot of people that have negative reviews on this game. I heard without even playing the game, they just heard what they were told and assumed this game was bad, just because of that. And I think that that really pains me. Like, why would you just assume a game is bad without knowing for sure? Like, I can only imagine this game is going to look amazing on a PS5. Because I plan on getting it when it comes out. I just got Ghost of Tsushima as well for my birthday, so I'm super happy about that. That will be a game in the future, I'll be streaming. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh. Get over here and help me hold it. We need you back. 
But I do think that if it comes out on the PS5, it's gonna be. That's the way to go. Just I recommend it for like I hope. Because if they make a PS5 version, that or they make it on the PS5, it's gonna be amazing. But even though it, it won't be bad on the PS4, but it's just one of these scenarios, just like the Last of Us 2 right here. That girl showed up. Okay. What I was talking about earlier. They found her in the tunnels. She has an old bike mark on her arm. No signs of infection. They're already running tests on them. You gotta get down there. Okay, we're about to find out the true reasoning why Abby wants to to officially kill uh, kill him. Um, wanted to kill him. Discs, discs, definitely discs. I'll pay the extra hundred even for it because I'm a physical copy guy. I do like. Don't get me wrong. I don't mind digital games, but I like. There's just something special about owning, owning physical copies. Like in my case, if you can see this, I got the um, steel book for Last of Us too, and I also got it for Final Fantasy VII Remake as well. So, I'm at a huge. I love collecting games. I'm gonna go tell Joel. Why? He traveled across the country with her. He has a right to know. We also just recently went through the Final Fantasy VII remake. Some of that should be still up on stream. Not the whole playthrough, probably still up because I imagine Twitch dropped some of those previous broadcasts, but. But towards the end, the the good the big moments are still up there. I think. Yeah. It's not the right thing. Though. I'm not sure. That's true. Well, the thing about digital, though, do remember, digital's come a long ways. Digital actually has with their cloud system. If your PS5 breaks, you just get another PS5 and re-sign in and you have all your games still. So, you're not losing out on those games. Yeah, you're not losing out on the games still, so. Unless something crazy happens. Oh, this is going to be massive right here. Yeah, we're about to see. Oh, so Abby was here. That's the craziest part about this. So Abby was here at the end of the last part. Well, I just don't remember her. Because we definitely did not see her. She was too late. And now we're playing in Abby's shoes. So we're going to see really why she went after Joel. You're still in the fucking building? Her father. Oh. Oh, I knew it. I just, I knew it. I called it. So, Joel killed her father. 
He did. He killed her. As I remember shooting him. I, I remember shooting him. In the last test, part one. Get up. Go fucking get up. And now Stop. it all makes sense. No please longer. Joel, please get up. It's rough. I feel bad for Joel. It's just really sad that Joel died, but he made quite the decision that night. Doesn't make me not want the revenge, though. I still want that revenge for Joel because I do like Joel, but. Yeah, I know. It's sad. There's no good way of looking at it. It was a two way thing. Joel made a decision where. I just don't know why. But they were going to try to kill him anyway. Yeah, but I'm so glad that they gave us that depth. Now I understand it. I can't, I can't, it's, it's an interesting scenario. I can't disagree with why Abby did it, but I also, it still hurts. <laughs> it doesn't matter how you look at it. It hurts that Joel died, but, but I can't disagree that she did it. I understand why she did it now. You okay, yes? Yeah, just... Yeah, well, he did. What's he that? said his name out loud. It's You're very job. right on that. We're being called up. I said once this will be for him. What? Are you serious? I'm afraid so. We should hustle. We're leaving now? <laughs> yes. I'm on us. I really do like, though, that you get to play as Abby, though. Even though I know everybody wants to, you know, have say hates Abby. But um, the concept is really cool to be able to learn more about the villain, the bad person, the person that everybody's supposed to hate. It's really cool to actually see why she um, turned out that way. And that's something I got to credit this game. That is a lot of games and a lot of stuff, like even movies, don't do that enough sometimes. I mean, I've learned more about Joel we'll the same thing. and and Ellie. I'll be honest in this game, just as characters, than I ever did in the first game. I'll be honest. I don't think we really ever learned really who they were. Like the game was really cool. Don't get me wrong, but it did not go into what their backgrounds at all. And if it did, it was just so minimalistic. It was just so minimal that it just didn't. So this must be shortly right after it happened. Where where is this um right here? Oh, him! Oh, him! I didn't see there. You coming with us to the Cerevina? And Manny and I just got called up to the club. What are you doing at the Cerevina? Hotel and the school are getting evacuated. We're grabbing supplies and bringing everyone back to the base. Seriously? I know, and that's what I like about it. They just did that right. They made you see, and they also made you see the reason she did it. Like, yeah, it doesn't make me... I still love Joel, and I wish she didn't have to die. But I also wish she would have made such a... I don't know, it's an interesting situation. I understand he didn't want to see Ellie die, but it was a scenario where I feel like there was a, there was a chance to save many people, and Ellie wanted to save people over living. She said it straight out to Joel. And then Joel lied to her. So I feel it was it's quite a touchy subject when it comes down to it, I'll be honest. Oh, I tried. Oh good. 
And then she found out, and she was mad about it. I cannot blame Ellie for being mad about it, because there was a chance to save many people. Well, yeah, I can't disagree. I mean, you're not going to tell the person the truth after you just did that. No. Well, at least, because it's just, like, it's just too tough to do, I think, to, to, to tell the truth in that scenario. Because you know that the person's gonna really, probably gonna hate you for it, but <laughs> there's no good way of looking at it. It's either it's a, she's gonna hate you if you don't tell her, and she's gonna hate you if you do tell her. So it's like a, there's no good way of looking at it. But <laughs> and and Ellie was pretty mad when she found out. But the thing about it is that she was gonna find out eventually, anyways, and she did. Because Ellie's very, very good at. Poking into things like that and finding out. I'm I'm glad they showed that scene as well, to show the, before they've shown a lot of stuff before Joel died. Hey, got any of those bars of soap that I like? Fine ones. Sorry, Abby. Heard the section next door is getting a new haul in. I might check there tomorrow. Bummer. Thanks anyway. I'm not a hundred percent unsure on where we were supposed to go. Is there anything over here? Probably. Oh, her! A lot of people. A lot of familiar faces. Burritos. Again. Hey, what are you doing? Hey man, there's a line. Hey, what the fuck? Excuse me. Quit your turn like the rest of us. We're going to the front. Come on. Uh, so embarrassing. Why do you have three? Pull them back. Now don't freak out. No one's coming with us. Manny? Where's your back? Interesting that Mel is coming with. Why are you doing this to me? Because I care about both of you. I know that graphic like graphically this game is amazing the only complaint I had is that I can tell at little and it was the same way in Final Fantasy 7 remake it's nothing wrong with the game it's nothing wrong with the development but when it, every here and there when it goes in and loads into a new area it takes a while for the facial features and the stuff to load in it it like it just is not there and then it like comes in but that's nothing. Or that's nothing that they did wrong developing the game. That's because the PS4 is not strong enough to handle what the game is trying to do. Not at the speed where it's trying to do it. The PS5. When you put this in a PS5 and you play it on a PS5, it, you will not even notice that. In fact, it will probably be. It will be mind blowing what it will look like and how it will play. Because, like I said, this is basically a PS5 game cool. running on a PS4. Yeah. And that's my thing is that I know that's what's going to happen when you get, when if RE8 comes out on PS4, it's going to be the same way. Things are going to be like that. And it might even be even more noticeable just because the games are just getting newer and newer. But yeah, this game is going to be a brilliant game on the PS5 when, when it's able to be played on there. It's an opportunity for you to file in the We barely said a word to each other since drafting. But yeah, if it looks this good on here, I can only imagine what it's gonna look like on there. You guys need to talk about. She wanted Joel dead as much as the rest of us. But she's not like the rest of us. She hasn't heard people like that before. Yeah, Pac-Man will be cool. I'm sure they'll. I'm sure. I'm very sure that they'll put it on there because they put it on PS4. So why wouldn't they? And it would. It'll be playable on the PS. I mean. If it's on PS4, PS4 games are going to be playable on PS5, so yeah, you should be able to play it on there anyways. But I'm sure they'll also release something new for Pac-Man on there. Get your things ready. I'm going to grab them. Yeah. It'll be very, it'd probably be pretty good graphic, really good graphically. Oh, hey, is that a football scene? TV here. What's over here? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, though, Pac-Man would be... Will definitely be interesting. I'm not huge on arcade games, but it, but uh, I definitely definitely like them. No, not exactly. No, they said that they will scale them up to a better quality. So it'll probably be like a PS4 Pro. When you put it in, it enhances it to 4K. PS5 will definitely enhance it to 4K and it probably will will run even smoother because it'll probably have like an update for the game that will make it they'll have updates for the games I'm sure just like Xbox did with the um with their with their games that were backward compatible but yeah it's going to be I think it's going to be really amazing Yeah, I would tend to think that definitely PS4 games should be. I mean, they may not be as good as a PS5 graphically. Obviously, PS5 games are going to be even better. But I think that they'll be better than what it will be on the PS4 even. So, I definitely do think they'll be they'll be definitely enhanced. The other thing is I meant uh, they haven't really given us a full price yet, like an actual final price, but I think it'll probably be five hundred dollars the PS five at launch. But I think it'll definitely be worth it. Now that I've looked into it further, it's got some really good games. The new Ratchet and Clank looks like a blast. The new Spider Man thing looks great. Seeing all the kids running around yeah, I'm getting ready. All those Including any future games, like like in series going yeah going forward, can't wait for the new Crash Bandicoot. Crash Four is gonna be great. Grab that ball. Yeah, okay, so it's so nicely. That's kind of cool that I got to play ball with the dog. I'm not sure. I think that they were gonna con they, that the model they showed is what it's gonna be at launch. I'm sure there'll be different designs as they start making different consoles because I'm sure they'll bundle them with games and do like the PS4 did. Like, didn't they have like a thing a Spider-Man one that was red? Yeah, I think they had a Spider-Man one as well that was red. That's another game I should stream. Spider-Man in the future. I have never streamed it. Never even beat the game fully. Played it a bit. Really loved it, but just never beat it. God of War is another one I never really finished, but own it in the same thing. Which trucks are in? Take S24. I'm driving. Sign us out. Thanks. May your survival be long. May your death be swift. Ha! <laughs> May your death be swift. I could use a
percent from the competition. Who's your claim to the apartment? The stakes. Okay. Oh yeah, God of War is really good. I played it for a bit. Didn't get deep into it, but lo did love what I played of it. Really good game. Pretty bad. We didn't say when I have to clean. Don't be a sore loser. That was terrible. Huh. Let me practice my aim a little better. Yeah, but yeah, God of War, I definitely recommend it. Mm -hmm. Another really good game. The PS, the PlayStation has a lot of great exclusives, though. Yeah, it looks wonderful. No, Definitely. Low priority. You're fishing up wild salmon right now. Um, if you're talking about God of War, God of War looks really good. If yeah, if you're if that's what you're saying, yeah. What did you mean about me and Owen? Definitely looks really good. Um, I haven't seen him in like two weeks. He keeps picking up open assignments. Has he talked to you? Did did he say anything? No, we're still not. I mean, I, I've seen it in the mess hall, but we walk around each other. Jackson shut up. You know, I wouldn't read too much into it. Oh, shit! Oh, boy. Scars. More of these scars. They were waiting for us. What the fuck do you think we're doing?
terrible there. We turned that corner so fast. Ow. Okay, sounds good. Thanks so much for the follow, Ghost Soldier. And yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, it was great seeing you. If you have a way of being able to following or getting on my Discord from PS4, feel free to drop in. We do a lot of stuff on there. But um, otherwise, my Twitter, um, I post on Twitter when I go live as well. So if you have a way to tw access to Twitter, yeah. But thanks so much and have a good night. I'll leave you with a I'll leave you with a good night uh, emote. If I can, if it'll pull up. There you go. Yep, I'll leave you with a good night emote. Um, I'll be back again tomorrow night. It'll be my 24th birthday stream, so I won't be on much longer. It's 4.15 already, so. Oh, Rogue Company, yeah. Now, my question with Rogue Company is what systems is it on? Is it on um, other systems other than, um, or is it just, um, is it just on um, PC? I've heard of Rogue Company and it sounds interesting. Definitely would love to check it out. All platform. Okay. Is it a is it a cross platform game? Oh, is it um is it where you have to buy it or is it a free to play? Okay. Well, maybe in the future I'll pick it up. I can't get it right now because I've had a lot of big expenses recently, but um Oh, on PC it's free. Okay, well then never mind. Then that changes everything. That changes everything. Then um, in about four to six weeks I'll have a PC. So as long as it's free to play, in four to six weeks from now it's still free. I will play it then. Although is it on Steam? If it's maybe if it's on free on Steam, I should just add it on my uh, Steam account right now, and that way then I can download it. Oh, it's available through Twitch Loot. Oh, then I'll definitely check it out. Yeah, through tri probably Twitch Prime. It, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'll definitely check it out. This is all good stuff. We need all, all the um, supplies we can get. Flashlight was starting to go out. In fact, it's great. We're not alone. Uh, okay, it sounds good. Actually, Bleep Boy, if you want to, um, just put it in on my Discord um, if you want to, because by the time um, by the time the stream ends, um, it may I may lose it in the chat. So just yeah, put it in the Discord. Now I'll, I'll I'll see it. I'll check it later. Yep, after stream that way. Cool. Okay. Sounds good. Then yeah, I'll definitely get. I'll definitely check it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh geez. Yeah. There's the infected. Okay. I see the infected. And they're moving. Great. I think we're gonna head this way. We're gonna.
Oh, and it's free on consoles too. Okay, cool. Well, either way, I'll add it to, for sure to my PC because that'd be a fun one to play on my computer once I um get it. Bounder packs paid. Okay, but that's not required in order to play the game. And so, okay, that's cool. Kind of like Fortnite. Fortnite has a paid portion as well. What? I know. But it's not required. Is it a? Is it another? Is it like a battle battle royale? I've heard of it. I just don't know a ton about it. I've heard a little bits about it. Oh, hey, we can climb up here. Oh, much other the axe. The axe is going to do so much more. Tactical shooter. Okay, cool. Well, that that sounds interesting. Um, why am I? Why am I crouching? Is there something above my head? Yeah, there's something above my head. That would explain it. Okay. I was wondering about that, why I wasn't able to, um... Abby has her own... Oh, that's so cool. She has her own... Oh, that is actually really cool. I'm really kind of glad that they gave us this opportunity to play as Abby again, actually. try to make this jump. This seems like a long shot, but oh, it worked. Well, it partially worked. I don't think it worked. I think we just fell. So if I have a way over here, up to here, then what's the reason of um, that other pathway? Unless we can make that jump, maybe that is what it, that's what it was. So, so that was what it was. Oh, is that in fact? Yeah, clickers. We kill it so fast. Wow, Shit. that's incredible. Cut it. Yeah. Can we say fuck this place? Yes. Fuck this place. <laughs> Come on.
at about four. Th I think about four thirty. I'm gonna end stream. If you guys want to, we could go on a raid. I'm thinking of potentially doing a raid. So. I think where we're supposed to go. Oh, hey. There's more over here. Oh, I could have swore I was over by it. I didn't see any way up. Oh, yeah, you can just climb the truck. I wasn't even thinking of that. It's getting so late that I'm starting to get tired and didn't even think of that. Yeah, so I think that that, mean, that means that right after this cutscene is a good time. To go to bed. Yeah, I think this is a good time. I will be back tomorrow night at some point. Or even maybe during the day. We'll see how things go. See how things play. I'll let you guys all know via my Discord and stuff. But um 
Thanks for the follows. Thanks for every all the support tonight. It was a great stream. I think that though, yeah, I'm just I'm I'm just too tired. I think it's it's a good time to um call it. I'm gonna save my game though before. Yeah, I think I think it's just best to go. Yeah, it's just best to go to bed. I'm just really really tired and um it is currently 4:30 in the morning my time so i will find someone though to raid so let me go check and see who is on yeah i'll find someone fun to raid I know exactly who we're going to raid. We're going to send you guys over to her. I haven't gone over to her channel in a while. Good streamer. Definitely recommend checking out. I don't think I don't know if I've ever raided her either. I'm going to raid uh Keisha 23. Yep, I'll send you guys over to Keisha 23. She's a really good streamer. Okay, everybody ready to go? Then here we go.